Inside the bustling hospital, the COVID ICU is eerily quiet. This is where the sickest patients stay. Some are flipped over to make it easier to breathe, and many are supported by ventilators. We're up to like 18 today, um, and we just did our third intubation of the morning. So are you full right now? But for our ICU, yes. Um, our ICU is for COVID and non-COVID, so we have 33 beds. And so of those right now, 18 are COVID positive. That means if someone needed a bed here now, they might have to wait. The hospital is having regular discussions about limiting surgeries. People are waiting in the ER to come up longer, you know, waiting to get surgery longer. Amy Pettit is the charge nurse in the COVID ICU. She says this wave of cases has been different, with people getting sicker faster, and they're seeing patients from all age groups. About 90% of our patients here are unvaccinated. Um, and so by the time they're saying yes, it's too late to get the vaccine. St. Anthony says it has 79 COVID patients in the hospital. There are 27 people in the ER waiting to be admitted, and they have 50 people on a waiting list to be transferred from somewhere else. We're doing everything we can. We're stretched thin. It's not sustainable um, in the long run. We can't keep doing this for months at a time. We need everyone's help. We need people to get vaccinated. We need people to wear masks. Um, I don't want you know, you having a family member here or you being here yourself. In Oklahoma City, Connor Hansen, Fox 25 News.